you want to host your backyard barbecue. Look, look, nice little ideas right there. You know, come to a nice, pristine, serene area. Get your fire ward out. Let that smoke burn, keep the mosquitoes away. And even if it's winter time, you want to come to a nice area like this. Set up, set your charcoal up and your grill. This is one of the areas. So you could do it at the beach too, depending on the season. Well, you know, if you're a person, it could be any time of the year, depending on how you feel and what you want to do. But I'm just giving you ideas for where you could host a backyard barbecue. Um, you know, bonfires are nice. So, you know, the barbecue game for a nice bonfire. You know, of course, on your porch, if you want to do that, that could definitely help on your porch, something like that. You know, on a boat, you can have a nice little small little barbecue on a boat too, if that's what you want to do. So it depends, you have to just get innovative and creative with this, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel with this either. But you know, think outside the box. Get rid of the box completely when it comes to putting on little functions like that. So doing things like that, like hosting a backyard barbecue, you know, it's a good way to bring people together. Of course, but you want to make it fun and exciting. You know, like I say, you could do it on your boat, you could do it on your porch. Of course, you see the background here, a nice serene area. Of course, I'm in Bermuda recording this video, but still you could go to your local town, your local area, and find a nice pristine area like this, where nature is. So you could host one. You know, you find somewhere else a nice taco bay. You know, you want to go somewhere that's intimate, one-on-one -on -one setting, find somewhere to go like that too. So there's different things you could do, but it's all about you being creative and innovative to do these things. And sometimes you could just look and say, okay, you see people that have barbecues on a regular basis. What is it that they're doing? What is it that you could do? And you could have one to make yours even better, and more fun and more entertaining. You know, you could invite invite some people, not just friends, but entertainers if you want to too. You know? Go somewhere, put up a nice big movie screen and set up set up the barbecue. You know? You can find out a vacant parking lot that's available nights and see if you can rent out the area and host the function there. So, you know, like in Bermuda, like we have like little movie nights down at St. George's only square. You have the big screen up, so that's a time like, hey, in an area like that, like I said, get your barbecue game, get that charcoal out, get that, that meat on there, whatever you, what you're getting put on there, fish, meat, whatever you want to put on the grill, you can put on the grill, chicken, beef, whatever. So it's all up to you what you want to do to have fun. That's what it comes down to is having fun. And sometimes, like, we want to have fun, but sometimes we run out of ideas and imagination for things to do right so that's why i'm giving you these options that are available because it's good to like stop and think okay will be a nice place that's environmentally friendly you know where it's not going to be a lot of noise either like say if, say if you want to have some real fun and turn it up you want to go to a place like where it's like it's not people's not going to be affected like the residents or anything you know Go for a drive to the mountains and, and go camping for a weekend. Host your barbecue on an island or something. You could do things like that. That's what I call thinking outside the box. Okay? You don't have to do the normal things. Like for example, if you're traveling to Canada, you went to Niagara Falls, you can take your barbecue with you and go somewhere in that area and have one. You know, you could have a barbecue for your honeymoon. Okay? Graduation time for family and friends. Yeah? So it's all about being innovative, right? Searching what you want to do to have fun and entertainment. But it's a good way to bring people together. And I think it's worthwhile. Well, then, because, you know, people love to eat and the smell of that barbecue grilling and, you know, you could even find, like, a, 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 a big camping area. You know, it could be close to like a highway or something. Somewhere close to a highway or something, you could let that barbecue just grill. You now you could do your thing. If you want to be seen, you want to be noticed, you want to attract a lot of people, be crowd. Do it in an area where there's a lot of traffic too. You know, so there's some of the ways and my ideas of 
of hosting a back hosting a barbecue not just a backyard barbecue but hosting a barbecue in general let me know what you think about this video give me your comments down below